Good evening ladies and gents, my name is Hyozo and I'm Disgusting and today we're going to talk about something that I don't personally have a lot of experience in dabbling into and in this case dabbling means playing. However, the latest installment of what I'm about to talk about seems to be probably the wokest thing ever to have been created. I'm of course talking about Dragon Age Veilgard. So when I say the wokest thing. I don't mean that it has the amount of woke that a lot of other things and other games have, like Dustborn. However, in the context, this might be the biggest downshift in any sort of quality and the biggest increase of DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion insertions that I have seen in a major game franchise. Now, I personally don't have a lot of experience with the Dragon Age games. I did play Dragon Age Inquisition a couple of years back just to test it out. I didn't really quite get into it, but it wasn't bad in my opinion. I, I, like, I did a normie thing when I was playing it. However, I did keep some tabs on posts here and there. And the news about Dragon Age Velgard started coming in like some time ago with the first images, the famous character creation that lets you have top surgery scars and which has this absolute amazing image of character creation. I mean, when you look at this, don't you just feel represented? Don't you just feel that this is the character that you have always wanted to be? And of course, you with a character creation, you can make whatever you like. I remember when I was playing Spore and I made all the weirdest contraptions because I just wanted to see exactly how freaky the game can be. Well, this is another thing. This is a character that you're supposed to feel represented with. And when you have such character design, I don't know how anyone can feel not represented. Of course, this all comes at the cost of making an actual woman in the game with proper proportions or making an actual man with proper proportions because everything has to be out of the norm. Everything has to be out of the box. And while I do support thinking out of the box and being creative and all of that shit, there's some things that you should just leave to the people to work with. And this is by far not the only thing that I want to show because I, well, I cannot talk about the game itself. It's not officially out yet. It's going to be out in a couple of days and I don't have a review code or anything of the sort. I can talk about the impact it's already making in the gaming industry. I'm just going to show you some posts and then I'm going to talk about what I think of the whole situation. So first of all, we're going to start with Grums, who reported on a tweet by God Empress of Mankind. Wait, Dragon Age is handing out codes if you say you're a non-binary. Did I read that right? And in the tweet, God Empress of Mankind explains that she has talked to the user Natalia Sirinova, who is a creator that got a code just by claiming to be non-binary. She then had a conversation with Natalia Sirinova and what that person said about the game is that it's a shit game, it is buggy, it is too woke, very linear, your choices don't matter. So basically... It's a linear, though boring, buggy game that is soon to release in a couple of days, which means no time to fix anything. And all of this has been replaced by the inserts of woke agenda, which happens with every game that dabbles in those dirty stuff. You sacrifice quality, you sacrifice storytelling, you sacrifice gameplay, graphics, even music and character development to just being in line with the narrative. But we continue. I actually have another tweet from Natalia Sirinova, uh, which is in uh, Spanish, uh, and uh, I translated it, which says, those from Bioware wanting to silence the truth. I got a strike for uploading that I had the code, but thanks to Elon Musk and the free speech, they got it. I'm not going to delete my tweet. And her account was suspended allegedly because uh, of her conversations with the God Empress of Mankind that she claimed she is not in fact a non-binary and she just got the code and leaked some of the content to it which 
Yeah, while that might be uh, an infringement on DMCA, which which is noted right here, that copyright owners can notify X claiming that the user has infringed their copyright works. It also means that they're having a close eye at normal people that are just reviewing the game. And while I could not find the original tweets, there were some reports as well as to some people that have been banned and have their reviews taken down because they were not overly positive about the game. And to that end, I want to point you at something that I did not, I, I found out this morning while as I was waking up and it was posted on Facebook by a local group of mine that all those reviews from PlayStation, News, Checkpoint, Get Digital Trends, IGN Portal, Pure Xbox are in fact very narrated. This is one of the reviews that I managed to screenshot and I wanted to highlight the dotted line in the previous image, which is Return to form. This is in all of these reviews. Return to form is present in all of these reviews, which are all from reviewers that are part of some companies. And when you can see it, this is from Checkpoint Gaming. Return to form. This is from Digital Trend which is returning to form and once again this is from playstation i think portugal which is also a return to form so all of these had the same narrative which highlights the whole review that is returning the game to form and what does that mean return to form you might ask i would think that they're trying to instill upon people that with this new release of the dragon age franchise they're returning to form which means they're very inclusive very accepting very woke very dei infested and the return to form would mean that they're finally on the right track so they're raising it for falling back into the right, right track, which is just one more subtle way to just push the narrative within the game. They're praising it, they're big companies that are praising the game, which means a lot to the investors and which means a lot to the game developers themselves. We continue. This is a image from Smash JT, which if we get here, we get the following text line. Non-binary, I just said. And I'm going to use they instead of she from now on. I mean, what can you say about these things? What what, what can you really say when, when something like this? This is so in, on the nose. This is just abhorrently intrusive. Like, gamers don't want this. Like, But the company doesn't care because it is so infested with DEI and all those woke politics that they don't care. They don't care about what gamers want. They, they absolutely never will again you have this one another image still from smash jt he has a whole thread by the way gender identity options the two options enough reflect these things in other images open up different dialogues and different categories that present you as a non-binary like this one establishes transgender identity and unlocks new dialogue options in future conversations you also have this one which you receive an achievement which sorry i i think I, you don't see it as well let me just move it you've chosen to encourage dash by focusing on the benefits of a multicultural background and finally smash jt says a lot of folks tagging me in dragon age review saying stuff like look even normal middle of the road youtubers are pointing out the dei problems that's how you know it's bad which means basically that even those people who don't do what people like me, people like Smash JT, Grums, Hill vs. Vape says, and all of those people do, they don't dabble in the what I like to call the woke wars and the fight to preserve games and to bring them back to some form of greatness that they used to have before. Even the people that just go play games, they live their lives, they don't care about all those things and just want to have a good experience without even, even making like content. Even they don't like this game and can acknowledge that it is too woke and it is the I feel crap that they just can't stand and as i said i don't have a lot of experience with dragon age games i know that they're somewhat inclusive they do have same-sex relationships and all of that but this is like a bioware standard ever since mass effect so this is not something that hasn't been around and if i have to say truthfully bioware used to do that 
in a very balanced and very smart way. As I mentioned in previous videos, the Mass Effect games, they have one of the best formulas, in my opinion, to insert such stuff, uh, even things like uh, non-binary characters in the form of aliens, even uh, same-sex relationships, even all those things that are currently in the discussion. They used to do that in a smart, concise way that, the, first of all, doesn't remove your satisfaction from playing the game because the game itself was done great and with great detail and with great thought. If you want to dabble with it, it is done smart, it is done with respect and it is done to leave you a good choice without any repercussions and any, not without any sort of just nagging you to be this or to be that or to accept those types of things. Whereas what we see here now with Dragon Age Velgard is just a constant shove it in your face type of tactic accept this accept this you're gonna be that do this here's another trans person here's another ideology text here's another narrative dialogue options and we're going to build the game around that and with that you have problems with the game itself because first of all the graphics on this game as far as i've seen they're nothing spectacular in any way in fact i think this is a huge downgrade especially on some of the characters that i've seen they show in compared to earlier games in addition to this we you have a lot of character development that has also been a downgrade and it was reported by a lot of people that just the character that they represent well, is not the same that it used to be and it's a cheap knockoff if you will, from what they used to see in the previous games. You also have the bugs, as mentioned by one of the tweets I show from the God Empress of Mankind. And this is supposed to be a finished game. This is supposed to be the final product that you're going to present on October 31st. And I'm not sure that I'm going to play it, but I, if I can, I might just get it and play it just to see exactly how bad it is. However, if it's that bad, I don't think that I'll be able to get through all of it. And this brings me to the effect that this game will probably bring to the world of gaming. Now, first of all, some predictions. This game will sell horribly. This will have a horrible replay rate it will have a horrible sales journey and it will at the very best barely break even from the cost and i'm sure i'm absolutely sure that the cost of this game was absolutely astronomical as is with all those woke dei modern games they go into the couple of or even more hundreds of millions of dollars with nothing to show i am curious to see where does all that money go because if games like black meat wukong can cost around if i'm not mistaken 40 or 50 million dollars and be far better than things like assassin's creed shadows from what we were shown or unknown nine uh, awakening or something like that then i'm very curious to see where do all those money go to and who actually gets them and how are they used because it is sure as hell not used to make the game look better and feel better and run better and with that we will also have more and more people just rising up against this absolutely horrible trend that is the woke dei inserts in video games and all of entertainment and as i mentioned in my previous video i think that this would be a huge nail in the coffin of the dei gaming because you have a lot of things already you have a lot of losses this year alone which are in the almost in the billion already and with dragon age velgard almost surely to flop this will just be the downfall and the final push that we need and this will be the last time that such things are done the, the any future projects will probably be scrapped in my opinion and a lot of companies are just gonna close because they'll be losing too much money but from that a lot of things will rise up and will take their place and if we're lucky and if things are done right we'll have good games 
coming our way soon enough. Anyways, that's all I have for today. And thank you very much for watching to this point. If you have, click the like and subscribe button to support my channel. Click the join button if you want to become a discussing enthusiast and receive special perks and support my channel directly. Follow me on my socials and click on my Patreon page if you want to support my cause of helping homeless animals and animals in shelters. All the links are down in the description below. Tell me what you think about this whole situation. And I thank you once again. I have been Helzo. This was disgusting. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and stay fresh.